Hey everybody, Leslie from Discovery Fabrics. Um, it's been a long time since we've done a store tour and now we have so many new fabrics to show you, but we're not able to do it all in one video. So we thought today we would start with uh, all our fleece fabrics and show you several of the fleece families that we carry. Now we pretty much carry Polar Tech uh, brand exclusively. Uh, Polar Tech invented fleece. They still make the absolute best non-pilling beautiful luxurious fleece in the world. Uh, most of it is recycled and we are um, very very happy with the selection that we have been able to get from Polar Tech. So um, Polar Tech fleece comes in many different weights. It comes in micro fleece, it comes in 100, 200, 300. These basically are um, categories of Polar Tech fleece that just generally lead you to understand the weight of that fleece. Obviously a hundred is not as thick or warm as a 200 or a 300. So uh, we carry a variety of micro fleeces and 100s. Um, they're really good if you want something that's just that lighter weight but a little bit of warmth. Um, as you know when you're looking on our website, um, on all of our web pages, you'll see specs tabs and those tabs will tell you how much it weighs, how much it stretches, and often what it's good for. Um, so this is the selection, as I mentioned, of micro fleece, 100 fleece, and 200 fleece. I think we have a small selection of um, 300 as well. And you can see we've got a great color selection, um, including uh, the green family over here. And um, fleece is just an amazing warm fabric uh, synthetic that keeps you warm in, um, in all weather and is really great for a year-round casual fabric. I'd like to show you an adaptation of Polar Tech fleece that is called Power Air. Power Air is a really interesting fabric because the fleece is actually encapsulated inside the little pillows. Um, there really isn't a wrong side and a right side to Power Air. Um, you can use it any way you like. It doesn't change how it works, but it, you can see that the fleece is inside the pillows. And what this does is it traps air. And anytime you trap air, you're gonna create warmth. So um, Power Air is an amazing um, eco-friendly fabric that is very warm, very thin, and gives you the same warmth as roughly as a 200 weight fleece. Now, moving from the Polar Tech um, 100, 200 classic fleeces, I'm gonna show you Polar Tech Wind Pro fleece. Now, Wind Pro is a family of fleeces that has a super tight knit and generally is water repellent as well. So you can get um, Wind Pro fleece. It it's basically just looks like a typical fleece, but very, very difficult to blow through. And if I had water here, you would see that water beading right off of it. Um, we also carry Polar Tech Wind Pro Stretch. Now, what we really love about Wind Pro Stretch is that it is, as the name suggests, very stretchy, as opposed to the non-stretch of a typical Wind Pro. So you can use this uh, four-way stretch fabric to make leggings or jackets or hoodies or socks or many other things that require stretch. And it gives you the beautiful warmth of fleece on the inside and a really nice, durable, water repellent finish on the outside. When you see the treads design, that's known as hard face and that's uh, added durability that Polar Tech offers. I'm next going to show you uh, Polar Tech Power Stretch. Power Stretch we classify as either fleece back, and again, many weights, many styles, and Power Stretch Jersey, which as the name suggests is a lightweight jersey or a midweight jersey, again, uh, quite a variety. Um, what I love about Polar Tech Power Stretch is the comfort is just incredible. If you have a skater in the family, it uh, makes great warm up pants. You can make uh, leggings, hoodings, hoodies, um, warm long underwear from this, depending on where you live. Uh, but one of my favorite all round fabrics because it adapts itself t so well to active wear and casual wear. Um, in the Polar Tech Power Stretch Jersey, just wanted to show you that there's such a variety in the styles we carry. Um, this style, for example, this green color is style 9490. And it is pro heavy enough that you can make a squat proof pair of leggings and really durable. Um, and the next one to it just shows that it has actually a hard face water repellent finish, which 
very few of the power stretches do, but we do find those. This one is called Style 9594 Twilight Mauve Treads, and it's a lightweight, but it gives you just a, if you wanted a running legging or something like that for rain, that would be a really good um, choice. And then it even gets so light that you can make um, panties or underwear or boxers out of it. This style here is style 1411 and it makes amazing underwear and also really lightweight tees, that kind of thing. Um, now we're going to move to our uh, warmer section of fleeces. Polar Tech carries a couple of different categories that are really known for the amount of warmth to weight ratio. One is called Polar Tech High Loft. Um, High Loft comes in many, many styles. A lot of these are being used by companies such as Patagonia to make their pullovers and jackets. Um, this particular style that I'm showing you here is style 4230, and this is currently being used by Patagonia to make um, their hoodies called the Retool hoodie. Retool sweater, they make headbands out of it, all kinds of things. You can make your own very economically. This fabric is very easy to work with and gives you extreme warmth. Um, there is, as you can see, many, many different kinds of high loft. Again, high loft is known for warmth because loft traps air. Air means warmth. I'm just going to show you across the aisle here. We carry uh, Thermal Pro, which is very similar warmth per weight um, ratio. Comes in so many different styles. This here is a Thermal Pro style that is a shearling style or, or Sherpa. So this is the style that uh, currently Patagonia is using for their retro pile hoodie. Beautiful, thick, warm. You can make amazing pullovers and jackets out of this. And uh, great for kids wear too. And it doesn't take a lot of fabric to make kids jackets and hoodies. Uh, next, we have another section of Thermal Pro. We classify this as sweatshirt. Um, actually, this one is not the sweatshirt. This one is the knit face. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's fleece on one side against the skin and then a very dressy knit look on the outside. This does not have a tremendous amount of stretch. You always have to check your patterns against the specs that we put for the amount of stretch to make sure it's suitable. Um, and in some cases, you can still use the fabric, but you do have to size up. Uh, next is our sweatshirt fleeces. So we have... Um, different weights. Now generally these are a lighter weight than for example the high loft and the shearling that we talked about. Many different styles and colors. Some of them are water repellent, some of them aren't. Again you got to check the specs. Um, this style right here is uh, a technical sweatshirt and it is, um, this color is cowboy blue. You can see how beautiful and dressy this looks. I mean, you can make a pullover that looks like you could, you know, go out for dinner in it. It looks so dressy. Um, and then just such a great variety in, of, of uh, Thermal Pro fleeces. Everything right down to a lightweight Thermal Pro knit that you could use for um, a hoodie or sleep pants for camping or, you know, just a pullover. Um, that's pretty much uh, the fleece that we carry by Polar Tech. We're gonna be doing some more videos showing the base layers and then all the other fabrics we have as well. So stay tuned, we'll try to get those videos done for you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching.